What's up, everybody? Affected Mushroom Studio. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about. Uh, we're excited, first of all. Well, of course. Very excited. Very excited. Converting vegetarians coming out. Number two. Number two this month. Uh, and uh, this was a fun project to work on, you know? Two years in the making. Uh, we've been talking about it many years to do uh, a continuance to Converting Vegetarians number one. We, deb- we debuted the idea of doing another double CD, but with our timing and it, it's kind of hard making today a it's double also CD. another, the second CD always loses focus. It's always one side that loses focus, so we rather just... Yeah, so we went with the other side and uh, experimental CD, fun to work on and uh, basically no rules. Uh, we, we actually had a track called No Rules, but we, we changed the name. We renamed the name. Such a bad idea, but whatever. So, Converting Vegetarians number two, a uh, very fun project to work on, freestyle with a lot of styles in it. Uh, you heard Fields of Grey, which is actually the more trancey kind of track uh, on this album. The rest are more chill out, weird, weird, progressive, uh, whatever. But so many styles, when you listen to the whole album, it's kind of a story. Uh, compiled of 15 tracks, or we made 15 tracks, it's the most you can put on 80 minutes it's uh, can se- I show the list yeah it's 78 uh, minutes they know the list it's uh, yeah in iTunes yeah started uh, with she's a remit she's a remit basically again a very weird Hebrew names a remit in Hebrew is like um, she um, she flows she flows she's yeah, she's easy going she's- flowing she's a remit very cool track, funny track actually to start the album. Then Yamakas in Space. Uh, we named the track Yamakas in Space because we got two Yamakas from Shmuli, but Space Yamakas, and we thought about Yamakas in Space. And we like the skit from the Muppet Jews in Space, which is also great. So that's Yamakas in Space, a very uh, serious ambient track. Very serious. Kind of scary with the vibe. Then came Sense of Direction, which is number three. It's a great song and uh, with lyrics and me and Duke Davina are singing on it. But uh, you, yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Then came Animatronica, which you already know. We previewed it and everybody's going crazy about it. It's a, we kind of feel it's a Tron vibe to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we like it. Then comes a track called Feelings that used to be No Rules. And not because of so much love in the studio. Feelings. Yeah. It's yeah. Is this feeling that I feel? Another great uh, song actually in the album that reminds me of Justin Timberlake. I don't know. Really? What did you take in mind? Then come, I think, one of our top favorites in the album, Pink Floyd. Uh, after the name, uh, of course, Pink Floyd, and we brought Freud in it. Uh, it really is our take on Pink Floyd. Yeah. You know, we tried to make it as much sounding as Pink Floyd as possible, but with our twist so to how it. How we see Pink Floyd yes. for us. Like a very dark side of the moon kind of yeah. vibe this track. Then comes Demons of Pain, uh, which is a very kind of sad sounding song. I feel it for the winter. With very a deep song. Winter vibe, you know, like, like the storm. Yeah. After Demons of Pain, uh, which you kind of uh, go to the crack vibe in it, uh, we move to Zoan Zao, which is a very glitch hoppy track and stuff. And me and Ares, it's not a secret, we like Koan Sound. So this is our take on Koan Sound. It's called Zoan Sound because of the Zoan, where it's really is. So Zoan Sound. We love glitch hop, actually. Correct. Then comes Blue Swan 5, which you already heard and we previewed. Yeah. Okay. These people are sleeping. It took you half an hour to find the cover. That's true. <laughs> Blues on five again. We already put it in. You love it. Uh, it's kind of we call it the heavyweight of this album. Why it's the fifth blues one will remain a mystery. I will elaborate on this in the future, if ever. Okay. Then we move to Fields of Grey. Started without Sasha Grey uh, with me singing. Then, uh, you know, we met her, she came, she sang the song, turned out pretty the name, well. The name of the song was Before We Met Sasha. Yeah. Fields of Grey and nothing to do with Sasha. Nothing to do with Sasha Grey. She came and sang that song, it became Fields of Sasha Grey. Yeah. And by the way, she came to the studio, she saw the files that we sent to another singer in Israel that her name was Marina. And she's like, is this for me? Because her real name is Marina too, of Sasha Gray. You knew that? Yeah, you told me. Oh, no, I know the story. But thank you for reminding me the story again. Uh, yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, so yeah, Sasha did a great job. I, I love this song. 
and maybe one day in the future you hear the original version which is also uh, wet if you know what I mean okay yeah then we go oh to Leopold a very crazy track and it's called Leopold because of the character in Bucks Bunny uh, if you don't know it he's the conductor over there uh, with Bugs Bunny it's a great skit go check it out crazy song with a disco environment into it and from the 80s it moved from disco to kind of glitch up of the future do do blog for that coming to Australia yes this is on Leopold then we go to a track called on the road again so basically me and Ares are all the time on the road and Ares went one track uh, again we're on the road again our sorry I'm stuck in a loop yeah so we're on the road again uh, this track had a few versions until we came to this version uh, which we like um, it had lyric it then had the drum and bass it was much more heavier but because of the environment of this album as a chill out kind of album we went with a more softer version which we really like so again this track is has heavy metal in it ambient and a little bit of all, all vocals then we go to stuck in a loop which Ares was already there Stuck in a Loop is, um, again, another chill out track with um, really nice uh, brush drums. Yeah, and a plugin, which we're going to talk about later, on the drums too. Correct, and, uh, which we debuted already today on Facebook, so yeah. the plugin here is a lot of triggering on the drums. The plugin was used all over, all over the album, and like crazy, and we did some really insane sound. Yeah, which we're going to show later. Yes, show later. Uh, now we go to Mexicali, oh, a track that many people know for so many years. Uh, we brought to this album and changed it completely. So this is not the Mexicali you know, it's an ambient version of the original. And again, a really good track. Uh, and we brought it to the fans that follow us for years. And uh, to finish the album is a track called The Surgeon, which sound-wise we went really crazy here. We kind of switched in between the speakers to make your brain kind of freeze like a puppy. You want to find this part? I'll never find it. There it is. Never mind. Uh, so that's the surgeon. It's called the surgeon because uh, we made this track for... Uh, anyway. Yeah, anyways, we made this track for uh, Surge from System of a Dawn. He was supposed to sing on this, but we, he was busy, he was busy uh, and everything. In New so he didn't, but the name Surge was kind of boring, so we changed it to The Surgeon. So here you go, 15 tracks about uh, Converting Vegetarians number two. I think you really like this album, it's very experimental. And uh, we're actually, after this release, uh, we're working on the surround version for it, which we're gonna do first, I think, 7.1 actually, and then 5.1. It's almost done, but yeah, we very, very, very good. Yes, and uh, very... Uh, Even taste. more psychedelic. Yes, more psychedelic, more sounds that you won't find right. on the stereo version. Yeah, and that's basically Converting Vegetarians number two. It was a fun project. Me and Erez, uh had good times making it. First us made a great cover. And uh, we did uh, a lot of stuff for this album, and I really hope you like it. It's hey, something different from the one of the things of the sound of this album. Lots of people complaining about non-mastering of this album. Correct. This... And we made this one very dynamic, just like all days of Pink Floyd and stuff like that. Correct. You have. We didn't go with the RMS uh, war. war going on on the dance floor because this album is not for the dance floor. It's for you to listen at home and to, if you want more volume, just crank it up because yeah. it's super dynamic. It's and very dynamic. Not compressed. It's, yeah. It's, uh, the sound on this album, like we pay lots of attention to give you and us the best sound possible. So I hope you like it and uh, we, we we had fun making it. We we listened to this album, me and Erez, for the last, it's ready for three months and for two years we're working on it, so we love it, I gotta say. And uh, this is in my car every day, so I really want you to have it because then I will move on, yeah. as usual. So Converting Vegetarians number two, very long blog, uh, but uh, you wanted the information, there it is. I'm gonna do track by track later on, later on. Oh, yeah, sure.